I'm gonna be running my mouth. See, when I see the, see these old neighborhoods here, most of these uh, houses are like 50, 60 years old. The average house is like 50, 51, 52 years old. Oh man, these folks out here. So I was saying, all these houses need to be repaired. Each and last, each and every one of them, they need work done. See, every one of these houses need work. Do need work done. See, who's showing these black boys how to repair a house? How to fix the plumbing? Each and every one of these buildings need work done. And you know, and, uh, you know when you come here during the day, uh, you see, uh, you, you come here during the day, you see Mexicans and Polish people and other kind of nationalities uh, fixing on the houses and everything. I understand. See, when you roll through the neighborhood, you see black men up and down the street moping around. Teenagers, 20 year old, 30, 40, 50, 60 year old, moping up and down the street. And you come in during the day, this is on the, I'm taping on a Saturday. And you see uh, other nationalities, Mexicans and Polish people and other European Americans working on these houses, you know, the rugs and everything. Uh, and the black man is unemployed. And it's because we as a group of people, the churches and the organizations, they're supposed to make sure that, and that these schools are somebody teaching these boys how to be a plumber, how to be a carpenter, how to be an electrician, how to be a police officer, how to be a firefighter. We, we, one reason why the African American community is imploding in, 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 in uh, cities like Chicago and other places, because those who of saying that, one reason why the African American community is imploding in many respects is because those of us who have made it have not reached back enough, or enough of us who have made it have not reached back enough, enough to uh, help the succeeding generations, the next generation. Uh, they always say um, they're, not, they're firing all the black teachers. Well, the black teachers 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, I don't think they, to the degree that they should have, encouraged, inspi inspired, and prepared the next generation of black teachers. Period. If you're a black doctor, you supposed to, I mean, you've inspired the next generation of black doctors. And, that, and that's what we, we haven't done enough. Yes, we do it, but not enough. You got the fraternities and the sororities. Well, you got groups here and groups there, but the need is so great. And the point is that when you, I don't care if you're a little kid, you're in high school, in college, you're an adult, you need help. You need help. You need hope. You need support. You need, it's like, a, I mean, a lot of black boys drop out of college that first year, only at first year of college, only because they silly. We know that. And it's like a, a silly freshman in high school and a silly freshman in, high, in college is just silly. But you need support. You need a kick in the pants, a foot up your behind to make it. If you don't get that support, it ain't happening, people. You got to have support.